Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, we are going to look at two variations of the same pencil. This is the Moppet Black Peps pencil. Uh, this is a pencil that is really designed for young kids, school kids, uh, who are uh, you know, elementary school age who are learning to write uh, or just, um, you know, new, new learners. And uh, these pencils are marketed in many countries around the world. And again, they are geared for kids. And they are uh, available in these two sizes. One is very much a standard pencil size, and then the other is a uh, large, or what we would consider a jumbo, and that's actually what they call it, is a jumbo. I want to thank my friend Duffy for sending me these pencils. Um, these are ones that I did not have, and I'm always interested to see how they design and what they think about uh, when regards to creating a pencil for kids. Uh, and it's funny that, you know, when we were growing up, we did have large jumbo sized pencils. They were uh, typically either hex or round shaped. Um, I don't recall if, whether or not they had an eraser on them. But the thing about these pencils are that they are triangular. So let's see. I'm going to see. I have to focus in here. I think the jumbo is, you can, well, you can see it in both versions here. Uh, the pencil is triangular shaped. It's three-sided. Uh, the cores do seem uh, fairly well centered. Um, not sure what kind of wood that they are using. Uh, let's start with the, the jumbo. So here's the pencil. Uh, the color scheme is gray, uh, a dark gray, and orange. And you have a full eraser with a kind of a uh, silver toned ferrule that is crimped on. And it says, uh, there's a D6 imprinted there. Uh, that must mean something with regards to the production run. Black, Peps, Jumbo, uh, Moppet. And then here is the uh, barcode and the Made in China. Uh, mark and then um, you have one side that's blank. Same with the standard size here you have uh, in silver foil also black peps HB equals 2 uh, ma mapid and then um, the barcode and then it just says Vietnam. So the large one made in China the standard size made in Vietnam. These pencils come pre-sharpened. And again, the smaller one also has these kind of the same pattern, although just a smaller size in terms of the ferrule and a white eraser. So uh, these are pre-sharpened and we're gonna get some paper out and see how these black peps well, I pretty different. Uh, sharpen here on the jumbo one. I did not like the factory sharpen. They had a very blunted tip uh, that I didn't like and so anyways I sharpened it in my electric pencil sharpener. So we're going to start with the big one. Thank you. 
really comfortable to hold. Yeah, okay. Uh, feels very much like a number two, which is what they say these are. Let me try the standard size. I find that the core in the larger one is a bit smoother. Of course, it's larger too. It's a bit darker. Uh, perhaps that's because of its size. But um, the standard one tends, is feeling a little scratchier. Jumbo is made in China. And the standard is made in Vietnam. Okay. So, let me start here with our jumbo. small, very minimal smudge drag. And we'll try the standard here. Whoop. Okay. Um, again, also a very small smudge drag. Let me start with our erasing test and use the attached eraser on the jumbo. Okay. Oh, that fell off the table. Hold on. And let me get the standard one here. And we will start here with the attached eraser. Let's see what we think about that. Well, hmm, not too bad. Not too bad, actually. Let's bring on some of our favorite block erasers. This is using a magic rub. You know, with kids' pencils especially, you'd want it to be uh, erasable because kids are going to erase a lot. Um, try a pink carnation. Okay. Um, try uh, an art gum. Okay, let me try one of foam eraser. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say they, the, the pencils seem to be erasing fairly well. Jot retractable. Okay. 
And um, oh, how about a Milan? Well, I would say uh, in both cases, the jumbo and the standard size, it erases fairly well. So, um, there's some sh shadowing, but it's really pretty minimal. So, on the jumbo, I'm going to give it a B plus. And on the standard, whoop. I'm also going to give it a B plus. Pretty good. Oh, I think that tip broke when it fell. Let me sharp, resharpen this one. Okay. You know, the thing about these jumbo pencils, particularly the triangular ones, uh, for people who might have uh, arthritis or any kind of a dexterity issues, have a hard time keeping a firm grip, holding on to a standard pencil. These, these jumbo pencils, these, the, the ones that are particularly marketed for kids, but they're actually um, a nice op, uh, choice to, for uh, for people who maybe have a hard time, grown-ups that is, who have a harder time um, with a narrower standard pencil. So something to, to consider certainly. Um, uh, a good alternative. You know, I have gotten to um, like triangular pencils. I never gave it a lot of thought, but the more I use them, the more I like them. Okay, well, so here we are. Um, the Mapid Jumbo and Standard Size Black Pep Pencil. Um, decent writing, um, uh, HB number two, uh, 
really rides the line in terms of its tone and shade. It is uh, not too dark, but it's dark enough uh, so that you feel like you're putting something on the paper. Uh, point retention on both of these seems to be fairly good, providing you don't keep dropping them on the ground like me. And the attached erasers are better than average. So uh, these two pencils, I would say, would be good choices for uh, young students going to school and starting to ramp up their writing uh, or for grown-ups who prefer uh, a triangular shape or a larger barrel to hold. Uh, so I like both of these. Thank you again, Duffy, for the gift. I appreciate the opportunity to try these and I appreciate all of you watching. If you like what I do here, please share, like, and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon here on Always Analog.